Today, we're going to look at the ultimate vlogging solution for your Sony RX100 Mach 7. Let's go! What's up everybody? Phil with Photo Gear Fun here. Today I wanted to show you my solution for vlogging with the Sony RX100 Mach 7. Here it is, you're looking at the Zhiyun Crane M2. I've got a USB battery pack here connected and I'll show you all these parts here. So we've got the, the Crane M2, got a, a USB battery pack connected with just a metal ring. I'll have all the parts listed below in the description. Ball head here that connects to the quarter 20 inside of the crane. I've got the RX100 camera. I've got a mag filter, magnetic filter thread and I've got a fader ND, 55 millimeter fader ND on that. Got the Ceramonic mic, this is a little $25 Ceramonic mic. So I'm gonna take this outside, I'm gonna show you what this setup can do. And the idea is that the battery will charge not only the camera, but it will also charge the gimbal if needed. The gimbal has an eight hour battery life or so, so you might not need it, but it's definitely there if you want to charge the camera and the gimbal. We'll go outside, we'll talk a little bit about it. There's a, a bit of an issue with it with the cable. I need to figure out a better solution for the cable. It's kind of unruly, can make some noise, and well, uh, it doesn't really work. We'll come back in and we'll wrap up this look at the ultimate vlogging solution for your Sony RX100 Mach 7. Okay, so this is the ultimate setup. Sort of ultimate setup anyway. I'm filming this in HLG, I'm gonna color grade it. Uh, this does support HLG, the RX100. So it's the RX100. I've got the magnetic kit on there for the ND filter. I've got a fader ND on there. And I'm gonna put all the parts in the description. You kind of saw them in the intro. Get the Ceramonic mic, which can pivot forward and backward. I'm in selfie mode now, so it's facing forward. Got the metal battery on there, which you can use a plastic one. And one thing I have noticed, might have to find a different way to do this is that if you just leave the cable the USB cable dangling when it connects to the camera to charge it you'll hear noise and sometimes the cable gets kind of caught up in the gimbal the gimbal doesn't always flip the same way so when you're going selfie mode to normal mode and back it might turn left one time and right the other so there might be another way to do this there's got to be a better way maybe there's some sort of swivel USB cable or something like that that I can use with. The good thing is, with the battery, you've got three ports so you can charge the camera and the gimbal, which is great. But this is it on the gimbal now. The gimbal is really, really stable. This is the own Crane M2. Really great gimbal. And even with that battery, even with the metal battery on there, it's pretty light. Again, all the parts will be in the description. If anybody knows of any solutions that, that can be used for the USB cable that might have some sort of swivel, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this setup. Let me know what you think of the stability and the sound. You can hear the rocks under my feet and in my backyard, kind of rocks and leaves. Let me know what you think of the sound. Let me know what you think of picture quality, how the Fader ND seems to be doing, and what you think overall of the RX100 Mach 7. I really think it's a great camera. And the microphone is right by the motor. I'm gonna stop for a second. Just move it around and see if you can hear any noise. Unfortunately, my AC unit is on. But I haven't noticed any noise from the motor. These motors are nearly silent anyway, but the mic is kind of close to the motor as you saw. So that's it, this is the ultimate, although there might have to be a modification, as I said, for the cable, the USB cable. Well, that's it. We'll go back to the studio. We'll wrap this video up. So that was kind of a demonstration of what this little kit will do. And even with this battery, it's a metal battery. You could probably use a plastic one, like I said, and get the weight down. But still, even with this, the whole setup is probably under three pounds. I haven't weighed it, but it's very versatile. It's very light. It'll pack down and go with you. So this is something that I'm definitely going to travel with. I'll let you know how it does. I've got some trips coming up in October, so I'll let you know how this does. If you have any questions, any comments, anything that you can do to help with the setup, make it a little bit better, please 
comment down below. In the description, like I said, I'll have all the parts that I used to create this. So if you want to create something like that, you can certainly do that. Get out there and have your photo gear fun. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will, I will talk at you again in the next video.